السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن ڈیٹا سائنس ٹوڈے وی ول بی ورکنگ وتھ پائتھون اینڈ پینڈاس ٹو ایکسپلور سم بیسک ٹیکنیکس ٹو ہینڈل مسنگ اینڈ ڈبلیکیٹ ویلیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ بائی لوڈنگ اوور ڈیٹا سیٹ اینڈ ٹیکنگ اے کوئک لوک ایٹ اٹ وی ول بی یوزنگ پینڈاس ٹو ڈیڈ دا ڈیٹا اینڈ دین ایکسپلور ایٹ یوزنگ سم بیسک فنکشنس ہیئر آئی ایم یوزنگ ریڈ اینڈر اسکور سی ایس وی ٹو لوڈ دا ڈیٹا سیٹ دین Using head method, we will print the first five rows to quickly inspect the data. Let's also check the last few records. Using the tail method, we can see the end of the data set. This helps us get a sense of data structure and any potential issues right away. The describe function gives us a summary of statistics for numerical columns like mean, standard deviation and per percentiles. This is great for quick data check. And with info, we get a concise summary of data frame including data types and the number of non and entries, which is perfect for spotting the missing values. After basic data exploration, we will now move to handling the missing values. Step number one is to identify the missing values. Let's dive deeper and check how many missing values we have in each column. Using isnl.sum, we can see how many missing values each column contains. This is crucial for deciding our next steps. We can also filter out those columns that have missing values. One way to handle missing data is to drop any rows with missing values. This is straightforward but might not always be very best approach. Here, drop any removes any rows that contains missing values. But be cautious, dropping too many rows might result in losing valuable data. For example, in this case, almost 50% of data has been dropped. You can also set a threshold in the drop and method. For example, here we have set the threshold to 18. There are 21 columns in the data set. It means all the rows that have at least 18 non nan values will be retained and the others will be dropped. Let's discuss how to fill the missing values. The first method we will use is filling missing values with mean. This is a common approach if you believe the data follows a normal distribution. There is a method in pandas that is skew. You can use this method to check the skewness. We will discuss about the distributions in more details in outlier section. If the value is around 0, it means the data is nearly normally distributed. But if the value is significantly large or less than 0, then it means the data is either positively or negatively skewed. In this case, we can see with the population. Here we have calculated the mean of the BMI attribute and then pass this to the fill and method. You can do this for all numeric attributes. Please make sure to check the skewness. In case of skewness, Median would be the correct value to fill the missing values. We use in place equals to true when we want the operation to be performed on the actual dataset. Instead of returning the updated dataset that needs to be stored to a new data frame. You can check the updated mean and compare it with the mean value before filling the values. Next, we have two methods forward fill and backward fill. 
in forward field the last valid value is used to replace the missing data in backward field the next valid value is used instead lastly we will use interpolation to estimate the missing values based on the data pattern interpolation fills the gap by estimating the missing values based on linear patterns and it can it can be more refined method when dealing with numerical data here we have applied interpolation to the numerical data and then we have concatenated the data frame with the rest of data there are different interpolation methods including linear quadratic polynomial based on the nature of data the third step is to handle the duplicate values handling duplicate values is straightforward we will use drop duplicate methods from the data frame and it will drop the duplicate values from the data frame in this session we discussed how to identify drop and impute the missing values in the coming session we will discussing about how to handle the outliers if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video